Hello, everyone. Hopefully, you've seen my video where I outlined that research doesn't support the idea that multivitamins provide any benefits. Instead, we should try to get our vitamins and minerals from real foods, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, not pills. However, even with a healthy diet, certain nutrients can be lacking. These key nutrients are vitamin D, vitamin B12, iodine, and omega-3 fatty acids. I am not saying that research definitively suggests you need to supplement these four nutrients, but I do want to highlight that they're essential and often deficient in many people. It's crucial to understand your personal needs based on your lifestyle and genetics to determine if supplementation is necessary. I will provide a link to my vitamin D video in the notes section below. And in this video, I will focus on vitamin B12. So why do we need vitamin B12? Let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger. What are the symptoms of B12 deficiency? Um, what aren't the symptoms of B12 deficiency? It's known as the great masquerader. It can cause everything from abdominal distension and chronic diarrhea to shortness of breath and swollen red painful feet. It can also cause Parkinson's syndrome-like symptoms, skin darkening and, uh, that resolve with supplementation and something I had never heard of before, bilateral useless hand syndrome. The many faces of B12 deficiency include neurologic symptoms, such as numbness and tingling in the hands and feet, muscle cramps, dizziness, cognitive disturbances, difficulty walking, erectile dysfunction, as well as fatigue, and psychiatric symptoms like depression and even psychosis. Oops, a whole lot of things that we don't want, and hence it's important not to be deficient. Vitamin B12 isn't made by plants or animals for that matter, but by microbes that blanket the earth. In the past, we naturally obtained B12 from stream or well water and from the fruits and vegetables we foraged. However, modern practices of washing, sanitizing, and chlorinating our food and water, while beneficial for health, also eliminate this B12 producing microbes. Meat eaters still get vitamin B12 because animals consume food and water with these microbes and thus store B12 in their tissues. However, vegetarians, vegans, and many omnivores may be at the risk of deficiency. There are many benefits to a plant-based diet, and that's why I'm plant-based. However, it's important to avoid B12 deficiency. Many plant-based foods such as soy milk or almond milk are fortified with vitamins, including B12. You can also take B12 supplements, which are inexpensive and safe. Any excess B12 is simply excreted by the body. I just take 1000 MCG of cyanocobalamin twice a week. I also get tested for my blood level of vitamin B12 once a year, just to make sure I am not deficient. One last tip, make sure that the brand you're buying is USP certified. USP certification ensures that what's on the label is actually in the bottle. The supplement industry is largely unregulated, and hence the USP certification is important for ensuring quality. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.